Hi friends, welcome. Welcome once again to my channel, Soulful Photographer. I think you liked the previous one when I showed the Bhutan Ping images. And today I'll just go through a few of the images which were printed in the coffee table book. And uh, one copy went to the King of Bhutan. I'm lucky. So here's the book. I'll just go through very few, very few candidly and what organized that I want to show you an X kind of image. This we've already seen. So this is the double spread, which is, which I like the most, where the prayer flags are there. With the same image. And kids are always very curious. I'll just, Flip over, and these are the biker friends. This is the point from where I shot that Buddha. It was two kilometers from the space we were waiting for our fellow travelers to come and join us, a few of the bikers. Oh, kids are always, and I, I love being with kids. And the other day I was talking to one of my friends saying that never grow in life. Be a child. One who is a child is a lucky one. So this is the, this one is kids going to school. Of course they have to travel a lot every day. They're harvesting time. And of course it's such a breathtaking space. I think for a landscape photographer or the people photographer, all travel photographer is a paradise. Nobody wants to come back from Bhutan. That is, these are the expressions I get from children. What to do? Again, the same picture which I shared last time. Oh, is a traditional dance. So these dancers from the village, they came to perform for us. Oh, I can remember where we stopped and had you know, hot maggi and coffee or tea. So anyway, so this is uh, the start of uh, today's uh, session and I'll be showcasing another book in detail and talk about the concept of that one. So this I just want to have a glimpse of my Bhutan. And this is the book. I hope you like it. Let's move on to the, the next book. So now, the next book. I'll not say it's a book, it's a concept. Wherein in uh, I, 2010, I decided actually to shoot 1001 women making very funny faces. So we spoke to one of the very leading malls in Delhi, shopping mall. And they agreed upon the concept. Uh, there are two things in this. One, because the, those analog days gone, and I had four by five, I had all kind of big cameras, and I had one eight by 10 camera. So I modified that camera and put in 35 millimeter on the viewing screen, on the viewing glass. So the image which is falling on the glass, I'm capturing that image. So that was the concept which you'll see. Uh, in the visual and I titled it as the million smiles because those candid moments were really candid and the expressions were out of this world so here we go just I'll not take much time just a minute or two and this one I dedicated to my mother who is no more but she's always with me so this is the camera of course and these are all passerbys. They are not actors. Just passerby. And I had a team of six or seven friends who will engage, the, the girls will invite them. And this is how they do it. See, even the little one is, is, is responding to the camera. That was fun, actually. That was fun. So like that, oh, I shot 1,001 women. 
and it was Asia's largest exhibition I did in two malls, printing 1,200 square feet of display material that was in Delhi and next to Delhi NCR is the Gurgaon or Gurugram nowadays. So we had that exhibition running for 15 days in each mall and that was appreciated of course, was covered by all the media and all. And see this funny, it's, oh, this is how the human is and capturing that flavor, that fragrance of humanity, that's a state of bliss. I hope you you like it. Oh, come on. I'm just recalling the memory. The, the foreigners just passing by in the mall. The old lady. What a fun it was. See, the old one. Oh, come on. See, another uh, you know, point which I would love to make is start Take initiative and do not be bothered about the result. Any initiative will definitely bring a major result and they will definitely touch many more what you think of because in creativity there is no calculation. So start it, do it and don't be bothered about what's going to happen. It will always be positive. That is my experience of 40, not 40 years, I'll say. That is my experience of almost 50 years of my, uh, my passion of visual arts. So don't stop. Initiate. And you will definitely be, always be very happy, smiling. See this visual. Come on. So I'm, I'm just revisiting 14 years back. So I'm just reliving this, that moment. I know that what was the scene, what was the timing when this lady was making this face. I know it was post lunch. She had lunch, then came and gave this expression. What a journey. Follow it. So we simply relive those moments as a photographer, as a painter, as a passionate uh, creative person. You know that how it happened, when it happened, who clicked it, when I clicked it. So leave the moment. And this was a simple idea made very big idea, a million smiles. Which I still carry that. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, this was uh, our trip to Himachal Pradesh, which is the lower Himalayas, I'll say, in the, in the state of Himachal Pradesh. And we did during the monsoon time, Generally, people don't go out in the monsoon, the hills, especially because of the landslides and other things. But we chose especially to go during the monsoon time in August. And uh, the bind of the book is very raw. That was very consciously decided that I'll bind this book absolutely raw, not very polished. And uh, these are the uh, laser printed on this on top. And the size is very unique, six by nine inch, a smaller size. Generally, I go with the larger books. 12 by 18 or 10 by 12 or bigger than that but this one I decided I said no I'll go little smaller so this is a trip with the again with the bikers and naturally when you go these places there are endless images and the the I'll not say the sad side of it but I'll say that you miss out many images to be printed because uh, Ultimately, there are 70 or 80 images only you can print, but you end up shooting maybe thousands of images. It was one of the most beautiful sunflower. <laughs> uh, he's not praying. It is the evening time, the drinks are on now. So he's just concentrating on something. And we stayed actually next to the river. The river Vyas is another image of the long exposure. I think it was 30 seconds or maybe 60 seconds. Oh, this I loved. I really loved this. It was amazing time, evening time. And uh, these mountains are absolutely kill. Oh, my experience has been when you go to these mountains, you stop speaking. You are in silence, especially in Himalayas. 
that is my experience i have been many 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 times right but every time as soon as i enter the first himalayan range or first terrain you are silent so this was oh wow i can imagine actually these clouds again the monsoon time the glamour time for the photographer basically this is a village scene then some nice messages come a smile oh this is the fun of traveling in monsoon when you are traveling in the clouds and especially in the hills that's amazing experience you cannot describe that another point which i would love to make is that in my books i never put page number and i never create it as a story i always keep my images very randomly so that it's every image is is there is no continuity there that uh, you cannot think of the next image is going to be of course like this no next image may be one is the biker's image or next may be visual for example this monastery part of it so there's a village scene they are preparing for hookka and uh, some other stuff yeah what to say about these images so these are the few books and a few images or for a few ideas which i shared with you uh there are two aspects of any art one is that you learn the technical part all or the compositional compositions and the lighting and the shades and all those kind of things and another part which uh, which i love to do is because basic is learned and uh, then your practice will teach you uh, rather practice will bring all the techn technicalities in your subconscious and the only way out the only way out is be a child because every frame every frame at least to me is happening for the first time i get so excited like a child i i behave or i treat every frame like it is the first time is unveiling in front of me so come and uh, enjoy the art from the art perspective not the technical not all the time talking about the focal lens and talking about the sharpness of the lens and all those kind of things no this is my take so my take is indulge yourself as much as you can this is art this is heart right art and heart i'll say enjoy that that's going to be the ultimate satisfaction in your journey so i think uh, and uh, if one wants to learn the technical part the whole lot of videos are around eh? tons of videos you click one and you get 200 so one can take advantage of that but i would love to receive some of the expressions of you where you want to ask me something on the creative part of it i i love to i love, love to answer that and i hope uh, you liked it by now you have made up made up your mind to subscribe it so just give a thumbs up so thank you very much for spending time with me and i hope anything comes to your mind you want to see more books you want to see more images or you want to see uh, or any other question you have in mind feel free we are friends absolutely there's no formality no don't be formal at all and just write it down to me i'll definitely respond as soon as i can thank you dear thank you very much